You know, you can know that you are allergic to spaghetti without knowing the science behind being allergic to spaghetti, right? Like, you, <clears throat> I think communities have knowledge of things that somehow, that some, sometimes you can know before you have reached the data conclusion of that. Maybe that's a reason why the data should be, should be made available, should be dis you know, discovered. And maybe there's a reason also why that data doesn't exist. Uh, I think that's really part of the other question. It's just the same, it's the same, it's true for, say, hate crimes data. Hate crimes data reporting in this country is incredibly shoddy, and it's actually voluntarily reported by precincts across the country. The FBI has almost no real data as to how many hate crimes there are in this country. That's, I mean, and why is it that the, the policing structure is so prevalent in our society, and yet we actually know so little about how it's, how it's carried out? I think that there's a structural uh, question there that we should really be addressing. And you know, on the other side of that, um, sort, sort of the other side of the question, um, and related to Jamila's answer too, is I actually think that uh, I'm, in some ways, I'm happy for Donald, I'm happy that Donald Trump exists. I'm happy of tr for Trumpism. Because I think that, you know, somebody who's worked on questions around anti-Muslim sentiment, anti-Muslim bias in this country, Islamophobia, I've worked on this question for a long time now, for, you know, probably 15, at least 15 years, if not more. And for a very long time, there's been this, this orthodoxy that I've been battling, many, as we have a lot of other people who work in the same field, that says Islamophobia doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you can say that anymore. And they say the same thing about anti-police uh, brutality, about police brutality, anti-police violence, uh, about uh, LGBT uh, hatred in this country. I actually think that we have an opportunity here to see, really, uh, the mobilization of those forces against us. And it, to me, it's actually not that shocking. I think the people who are the most shocked by Trumpism is kind of a white liberal class in this country that doesn't know that that actually exists, that that's part of daily life for a lot of people yeah. in this country.